Welcome back to making a game engine is really hard and I do not have enough time. Um, <laughs> I am trying to make a game engine where it's like everything is pixel simulated, kind of similar to Cortex Command. I don't know if any of you guys have played Cortex Command. It is a phenomenal game. It is so cool. You know, pixel simulation, kind of like Noita, and I'm trying to make something that kind of blends the two together. You know, I the the game that I kind of have in mind at the moment is you know, uh, perhaps you can chuck. You have a trebuchet. You chuck rocks at castle walls. They crumble. They get destroyed. There's particles flying everywhere. You can huck fiery projectiles. Um, I think that'd be really cool. I think that'd be really fun. I think it'd be something that would be really difficult to build, uh, but still enjoyable. And so far, it's been a heck of a challenge. It's taken me a month to do <laughs> like nothing in uh, you know in what would be like in another game engine. But the thing is, is that I'm trying to build my own game engine uh, to to do the things that maybe some of these other engines don't do super well out of the box. To try and build it particularly for for my use case. So up till this point, all that I've really built is a falling sand type game. Uh, and see that you can actually play right now. Um, I'll put a link for it somewhere. And uh, yeah, I, I want to take this kind of to the next level, right? Where I can add physics and have uh, the the there be like physics bodies inside the system. Day one. What do we got? Boom. We got a box. Look at this. Easy. The box was falling kind of too linearly. So we cooked up. We got a physics system going on in here. What's going on? Look at this. Oh. What's that? You thought one box was was fine? No, <laughs> no, you were wrong. I have a bunch of boxes. Look at this. As you can see, there's there's still some gaps in here. I don't think I got the size of the boxes right. Plus, these rectangles can't rotate. So next, we got flipping OpenGL cooking. Look at this. Look at this. How insane is this? So much dopamine just flooding my brain. Look at how awesome this is. I never thought it'd be so hard to rotate these rectangles. You gotta know so much. There's no learning curves. Just, just learning walls. I have sand working in the game now. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hold up. Hang on a second. What, what the flip does sand have to do with any of this? And what do these boxes have to do with any of this? What? I thought we were making a game about trebuchets. All I'm seeing is sand and boxes. I don't get it. Okay, so what's happening here is we need, we, we're building the foundations. We're building the building blocks. So you can imagine this is your trebuchet. All of these are physics bodies um, that the system needs to know about. And the sand in this game, the sand part of it would be maybe, you know, maybe the ground here is is like, you know, pixel simulated. And this, this object here, uh, it'll be a bit of a combination between, so maybe you could imagine, let's say there's a ball. <laughs> But there's a ball on the end of this, right? So this, so this is a physics, a physics thing uh, that needs to be physically tracked by the system. But let's say it's on fire, or whatever. You can imagine that the fire parts of it need to be pixel simulated, aka in the sand system. If there's like a castle wall or something, you can imagine this castle wall being comprised of like you know big blocks. We would want this. Like the impact to kind of like bust into this wall and then create a bunch of sand that is kind of simulated around it. As you can see, it piles up. You know, this is this is this is sand from my other game taken over here, and this is just so satisfying. Just once again, just so much dopamine. Um, the, the the obvious thing here that you can see is that these are happening kind of in two separate spheres, and they're not interacting with each other. So. Okay, <laughs> right now they're just getting evaporated, but you know that's that's okay. Uh, we can we can fix it. I want to I want to have it so that they fling up and, and fly around, uh, not just melt into uh, non-existence. Hey, look at that! Look at this. The frame rate is dipping, but you know what? You know what they say when <laughs> when the frame rates dipping, don't come. And that's it. That's a flipping month and a half worth of work around full-time work and everything else. And so sign up on my website for uh, updates. Uh, it also helps support uh, the project if you're interested. 
And stay tuned for future work uh, that I got planned for this project. I got to tackle things like multi-threading for performance, uh, rigid body destruction, that's kind of one of the next big things in the backlog. Get hyped! <laughs> do, people, do people say get hyped? Get lit? Should I say get lit? <laughs> no, I shouldn't, no. I shouldn't say get lit.